Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make whole animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, vectors from freebie.com. I will add download link and project files. So first, let's select this background layer and lock. Then select these layers, D1, 2 and 3. Let's hide layers and select these layers. Let's move to center. Go to here, enable title action save. And let's move to here for center. Okay, and let's close title action save. Then select this layer. Let's press P and move to up. And let's go to here. Make new passing tree frame and go to 10 tree frame. Let's click here, write 10, click enter for go to 10 tree frame and let's move to down like this. Let's go to solo, move to down like this and let's go to 3 tree frame 1, 2, 3. For shortcut, you can use page down in each keyboard and let's move to up a little bit, go to 3 tree frame again 1, 2, 3. Select this shift frame, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's zoom to here. Okay, let's see. Okay. So we have problem with last three shift frames. Let's select all shift frames. Right mouse, go to Easy Ease or click F9. And let's again select shift frames, go to Graph Editor and let's make filing graph. Let's select this shift frame and move to right and this move to right let's see okay back to chain frames and select all chain frames right mouse go to chain frame interpolation and change current settings to linear click ok let's see nice and let's select these last three chain frames move right a little bit okay that's good so in this time, let's go to here, first pass in keyframe and hold shift press S, open scale, make scale keyframe and let's go to back, chain scale 0, select scale keyframes, make easy. let's see, okay, select the scale keyframes, move to left, nice, select these passing keyframes, let's move to right a little bit, nice and go to here let's hold shift press air make rotation keyframe, frame chain rotation minus 25 and go to here change 10 and go to here change 0 and move to right select keyframes, frames make easy let's say again okay very nice so let's select these passing keyframes, frames move to right and select sketch a frame, move to right a little bit for slow animation, let's see. Okay. Select parts in two frames, move to left. Okay, that's good. So we can change first rotation two frame 45. Nice. So in this time, let's unsolo. And select all chair frames, Ctrl C, let's close this chair frame settings. And let's select this layer, Ctrl V, let's see. Okay, and let's go to solo. Nice. And let's press P, select all passing chair frames, go to last chair frame, and let's move to left. Okay, let's see. Nice. Let's move right this little bit for random animation. Okay, not bad. Let's select these last three chain frames. Hold Alt, move to right. Let's see. Go to solo. Nice. And press U. Select all chain frames. Let's Control C. Close chain frame settings. And right now, let's select this layer. Control V. And press P. Select passing chain frames, go to last chain frame 
and move to right and move to right this layer okay that's good and let's move to right this little bit nice close J frame settings and select this object layers object 6 5 and 4 let's control v for past keyframes and let's see press p go to last part in keyframe and select this let's move to here and move to down select these keyframes move to down here okay and this part in keyframes move to right and move to down okay so right now let's move to right these three frames these layers for random animation nice let's move to left this little bit okay so let's select this object 6 go to solo and select passing keyframes. frames go to graph editor and let's select this graph move to left little bit let's see okay back to keyframes. frames and select this graph go to here let's move to left little bit and this make someone nice let's unsolo close chain frame settings okay so right now select this layer let's press s and go to here make scale chain frame go to back chain scale zero and hold shift press air make rotation chain frame let's go to 8 second let's press n for select work area and change rotation to let's see nice and select all chain frames control c select this rotation to layer control v and move to right let's see nice let's move to right these layers like this okay that's good So let's press U, select sketch frames frame to make easy and move to left this sketch frame. frame. Nice. And select this rotation one, press R or press S. Move to left and make chain frames easy. Okay, so right now select these all layers. And let's press P, make new passing chain frame, and go to here, one second, and let's move to left. Okay, and let's go to graph editor, let's zoom to here, select this graph, move to right for slow animation. Okay, let's see. nice okay let's select these layers um, i was fine yet move to write these layers let's move to right here again make new passing chain frames go to here and move to left and make chain frames easy let's see nice and let's make random chain frames Select these chain frames, let's move to right like this. And these chain frames. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's select these chain frames, move to left. And this. Nice. So let's close this all keyframe settings. 
and go to text let's write here happy holy Clicization tool and change size font size okay and go to eyedropper icon let's select this yellow color and let's we okay, can change these colors let's select this color and select a select blue and select p let's use this color and okay not bad okay right now let's go to window open animation comes to three and let's open starter preset open text animations animate characters let's use overshot scale i will use this overshot let's select this text click in close animation comes here and select this mark let's move to right for slow animation and move right here let's see okay let's see okay nice okay that's good so let's select these d layers let's select this d1 go to solo and let's go to pen tool make mask like this Clicization tool go to fx presses search effect stroke select stroke let's use for this d1 layer and change brush size and go to paint style change reveal original image and change end like this okay let's move to right this layer make end keyframe go to here change end 100 press u for ck frames and let's select work area let's see okay ck frames make easy and let's move to here move to left again okay and go to here let's hold shift press s make ck frame got some keyframes and change scale zero and make sketch keyframes easy let's see okay and in this time select this point behind let's move the anchor point here let's see nice and let's select keyframes and keyframe move to left again nice so select this layer let's delete other layers select d1 and press air chain rotation like this and move to up let's see okay select this layer let's make composition add the name color drop and click this checkbox click ok back to here main composition and let's open composition let's see here okay select this icon region of interest select this color drop region go to composition crop count region of interest let's see nice close composition and let's see let's move to up okay right now let's go to edit and split layer or control shift d delay composition nice and let's move to here this go to stroke change fill let's use fill for this composition select eyedrop select this yellow color let's see okay and right now let's move to left here
Okay, let's see. Nice. Let's move to left here. Okay, that's good. So let's make more duplicates for other colors. Let's select this, Control D, and move to here, chain rotation, and move to here. Let's change color to red, and move to left. Nice. So I will make more composition for other colors. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.